Today on Spooky Shiz, a retro 80s blast from the past. Let's talk toys. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we're having some Halloween fun with the re-emergence, we'll just say, of an old 80s classic, especially if you're overseas. This is what kind of came after a really successful Kickstarter, and now they're showing up at Walmart stores. And today, we're looking at Boglins. Remember those? This is the Blobkin. He's kind of like a fat pumpkin Boglin thing. Glows in the dark, which is kind of cool. I totally dig that. And the packaging is very fun. This is like the old interactive kind of it's so dumb, but it's awesome kind of packaging. But I absolutely love the artwork on the packaging. Does anyone remember Serendipity books from the 80s, 70s, 80s, and all those? I found those at the thrift store all the time. And if anybody knows Crickle Crack, then you definitely learned about addiction as a child. <laughs> the artwork, though, does have some great captions. It's got some great jokes. It just shows off the creativity of the Boglins. And if you go to Walmart, which is where I got mine, I got the Blobkin, but there's also a Crazy Clown and a Bag of Bones. Get it? And then there's going to be other ones like Dark Lord Doink and ones that got wings and such. And on the bottom of the box, which, again, equally as cool, all hand-drawn instructions. So, you know, you put your hand. It's like a Muppet, like a creepy Muppet that you control. And the eyes move, and it's got like a cage and it's cool. It's like Pet Rock, but it's more interactive, right? Remember those? You can move the levers, the eyes go back and forth. It's pretty cool. I like that. And here's the barcode as well if you're in the store and you want to see if they have any. And just as a heads up, this is not going to be like the typical review because it's a puppet, basically. So we're going to do our best and just kind of do an unboxing and just kind of have some fun with this guy. Because I've been wanting a Boglin for some time. So you go ahead and you cut this off right here. And you remove this and that unleashes the cage, right? You got this, <laughs> again, an interactive box element to this and you kind of pull it up right there. And now you're... Boglin is loose. The Blobkin. Love this guy. He's, <laughs> love the jack-o'-lantern face to him. He's all orange. Very Halloween-ish, right? So you open up the box. It says caution. And if you want, I mean, I wasn't going to, but now that I see, like, the box is kind of a lot of fun. You can keep the box and not ruin it and keep it more as the Boglin's cage. So you can take everything out of the box. It's pretty easy, except for one part. We'll show you this. This is the part... I'm talking about right here, this little plastic piece on the back. And then you have this, <laughs> which I didn't know what this was at first, but it's all wrapped up. And I was like, whoa, uh, all right, we're getting kind of uh, interesting here, right? <laughs> I didn't know the Boglin had a tail. So it has a tail and it, uh, it, it clips on and I'll show you how to do all that. But it, it's not easy. I'll tell you that. It was kind of frustrating to be honest with you. And it comes with a little map of the Boglin's home. And this right here shows you how to interconnect the tail to the puppet, which go easy on it. That's all I'm going to say. Because once you're done, once you've finally figured it out, I mean, you get a cool interesting hand puppet that is a monstrous uh, creature that lives in a bog and it's done well i mean it's a very old-fashioned kind of toy it's very rubbery there's not much to it it's not going to have articulation and such where the arms uh, are going to move up and down it's got the tail now i'll tell you this go easy because with the box and everything you basically i don't really even know how i did it you basically just i just went for it and kind of pulled so it pops the orange piece off. Then you take everything out and then you pop the tail in and secure it with the plastic, clear plastic piece and it works. So j just go easy. You don't want to tear the rubber on it is what I'm trying to say. That's what was making me nervous. But you put your hand in and I love the eye mechanics on this. That's really cool. The eyes are really well done. You can see inside all the gears, all the levers. One thing that's a bummer right here already, it's it's kind of warping the rubber, which I'm not too stoked about. But yeah, inside you got the mouthpiece and you got where the arms connect and where the tail connects. And you can put your hands right there and control the mouth so you have his mouth up and down and you can eat things or whatever you want to do. So it is fun in that sense. But this is kind of like... A desk toy, or for me, I've never had a Boglin. This is the only Boglin that I need. I'm very happy with this, 
but we'll get into pricing and all that in just a second. But look at this as a Halloween special. It's a Walmart exclusive. So if you're into this sort of thing, or if you never had a Boglin, or if you're just in it for vintage toys, yeah, it's fun. One thing though, I don't say, uh, you know, I have the biggest hands in the world, but uh, my hand, it really doesn't fit inside this. I feel like it's a little bit too small, you know what I mean? When trying to operate the lever and the eyes and get it all going and moving the arms around and such. It works, but it might be, yeah, a little bit too small for some people. And then, this is, for me, I mean, it's basically a real Ghostbusters toy. <laughs> and being it's the 80s and it has that 80s charm, I mean, you can see it'll fit in with your collection. But like I said, you really just need one, if any, if you get these things. But if you got the real Ghostbusters, you know, you got the fright features and you can have the Boglin eat him or slime him, whatever you want to do. In terms of old toys I have, just kind of pulled them out real fast. The old-fashioned Sucker Man's kind of got the same exact sort of rubber to it and then for puppets i got this old real ghostbusters slimer which i absolutely love it's just a fantastic fun toy but he does have enough space to put your hand in there and do all the things that you need to do right so in that sense yeah i like that one but yeah sucker man if you're not familiar with this old-fashioned toy he sticks to things that was his whole deal with that <laughs> And then in terms of the glow-in-the-dark aspect, now certain toys recently, not the best for glow-in-the-dark. So I would say if anything, put this guy underneath the lights, charge him up for a good 2-3 minutes, turn him off. And yeah, he does glow. I mean, it's really cool that all the orange, at least in the face, will glow. Some of the hands as well. So it's not the brightest, but he does do the trick, right? And then again, in keeping the box aspect, once you've kind of put it all back together. Just an FYI, you can get the gate going again, that'll work. On the bottom, you can punch out the circle if you want. You punch out the circle in the other cardboard part right there, as you can see. And then you can put the blobkin in and stick your hand in there and it you know, kind of becomes interactive in that sense. I'm gonna keep the box as whole, but you lock them up and finally your blobkin cannot get out ever again. Until next Halloween, of course. But in either case, I'll say this. If you've never had a Boglin, well, a Dark Lord Boglin ain't so bad, especially when it's Halloween time. You can get them at Walmart. There's three to choose from. At least that's what I saw. At least the clown, the ghost, and this pumpkin. I had to have the pumpkin. I think that he looks the best. Now, they are a little bit pricey. I'll tell you that. They're $40. That's really nothing if you know, you're going for the old-fashioned vintage one, which apparently do fetch a pretty penny. But the nostalgic part of it, the interactive nature of it, the coolness factor, it is cool. So it depends. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. But I'll tell you this, if you're looking for a sweet Halloween toy right before Halloween, it might be right up your alley. I think around the 25, 30 mark would have been a little bit better. Just saying. But if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. You can get off Walmart's. Yada yada. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Boglins. Did you have the old fashioned Boglins from the 80s? Did you have the reoccurrence? I think what in the mid 2000s or did you get any of these <laughs> yet? Kickstarter? Are you into the Boglins? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Boglins and Blobkins and <laughs> the tail cracks me up. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, in case I don't talk with you, have a very awesome Halloween. Get some candy and just be safe in general going around trick-or-treating. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.